All right, everybody, welcome back to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am, of course, Larry the Chupacabra, and I'm back for some more playthrough of Dethrone with a little bit of a revisitation. So, there are a few things that have changed and some things that have kind of been fleshed out more meaningfully that I didn't really cover in the early beta access sort of uh, video. That includes um, items, shops, and the general UI layout of the game. So it's, it's kind of undergone some revisions. Um, the main stuff you want to do is at the top here, including the play button. They've got a nice little social screen where you can see all the people online because there's... I mean, there's quite a few people that play this because it's for free and early access in the free-to-play section of Steam. But um, there's, you know, there's not a, a boatload of people. And um, items, these items are like, um, I think of these as like, equipables that give you like bonus perks and stats there were a few previously that you could equip in the original beta they didn't really like sometimes they worked properly sometimes they didn't i never really got a chance to play with them too too much they never really gave too much of a great advancement to your abilities anyway they've also got a nicer screen for looking at the different champions so, um, you've got, like, the Armored Bear you start out with in a sort of background story. And then they've also got, like, an overview of all of their abilities. So the Armored Bear, he does the sword charge. He gets pissed off and does more damage and gets faster attack speed. He can heal himself by squeezing his uh, internal giblies. And he can summon Herman, his lovely duck friend. I have named him. It's too late now. It's been done. Um, you've also got the sniper, which is an old man with a gun. You can kind of check out these different abilities. Um, my old friend, the Pyro, who's kind of a dick. Um, a new champion known as the Alchemist, who mixes and mashes weird amounts of potions somehow and uses them to damage people. And he's got a little pistol. He'll cap your kneecaps off. There is, of course, the Psychic Beaver, which... Uh, Shoots purple mind Kool-Aid, everyone's favorite. Um, there's the rogue, which is a, um, what is this, a, a satyr with a bow. It's partially alive with mushrooms. Then, of course, our old pal, the uh, stone elemental. I don't remember what his name used to be. Um, and then there's also some champions that are yet to come out that you don't necessarily know who they are, but... You can kind of see some of their background story and see their models. So this is like a cave troll or something with a spiky demon tail. Um, this is an ent. And this appears to be like a harpoon whaler with uh, a pirate's hook. So that's pretty cool. And then they've all got their each unique backgrounds, as I stated before. And then, of course, the last item is there's a shop. I, I don't really know what this stuff is. I, I, you know, I've got, I've got tokens to buy some of this stuff, but I don't necessarily know what they are. We'll, we'll take a look at this. I got our click spam. Oh, I got some items to equip. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah. So we've got glowing berries, sight range plus one, bat leather boots, extra speed, feeble blade. Oh, okay. That's cool, so that'll allow us to take a closer look at the items. Um, we can use these booties. We can use this stat. I'll just use all of it, I mean. Okay, so that, that tells you where you get the items. They don't drop in combat anymore. You actually just purchase them from the store. Where previously you just get them kind of dropped at near the end of battles and after you kill the enemy champions. So that's pretty sweet. There's some... Random people who are chittering and chattering that know each other in the in the chat. Um, so basically how this series is going to work is I'm going to take a look at some of the updated um, AI stuff. Playing as the Armored Bear. I don't have anything else unlocked currently. I might pick up the supporter pack and unlock some of them. Um, the Sniper, you unlock at level 2. Um, the Pyro at level 15. The Rogue at level 20. The beaver at level 5, the elemental at level 10, and stuff like the alchemist and the celestial bear you don't unlock unless you um, 
get the supporter pack. I don't think it's too expensive if you're into that. If you just sort of started jumping into the throne. Um, for right now, the only thing I've got unlocked is the armor bear. So I'm actually going to play a lot off screen um, in the following weeks and sort of unlock these other characters so that I can showcase them individually or even just battle against some of them. Like, initially I'll have to like set it up to battle the alchemist. So we're going to play a practice match just because I don't have a lot unlocked and I need to get back into the swing of things. I'm going to go to the Haunted Mines. We've still got the Snowy Mountain Pass, the Haunted Mines, both of these I showcased previously. And then there's a new map that's kind of janky. Um, it's a single lane map that just has one thing going on with minions. However, for some reason the AIs don't really know what the hell's going on. So this one you really have to play with other people. So we'll just check out the Haunted Mines. Um, let's go with at least a medium AI. I don't necessarily know that that matters too much. 1v1 Haunted Mines and we'll just jump right in. Alright, so remember the first thing we want to do is get control of these victory torches. I guess they're called victory points, but I call them torches because they're a torch. I mean, why not? It doesn't really make much sense. For some reason, the AIs just kind of go straight for broke in here. And try to take my gold from me. I have no idea why. So, the one thing I can say is that the AIs do need quite a bit of work, which makes sense in the beta. They either do stuff you wouldn't really expect normal human beings to do, or they just flat out don't do anything. And this AI is the medium one. I played on this one against the hard AI and the, the easy AI, and they all kind of just do the same thing. I'm just gonna capture this back. So this is, as a tactic goes, coming and getting this is kind of silly because the AI just comes in and steals this and then upgrades it. I don't necessarily know what that is supposed to do. Um, so we'll start by building a barracks. The only thing I've really got to worry about is just him coming in and touching my jibs. So I'll just do combat against him over and over again. So just kind of going back over basic mechanics. If you've gotten the, the piss kicked out of you, you just come back to your base with your creepy Santa Claus king, and he will heal you with his magical frog. Um, I'm not sure where this magical healing liquid is coming from out of the frog, but I'm not going to ask. So we're just going to start building up our little army while we do battle with Dirt Patron. And let's summon Herman. Herman the Duck. Get out of here, Herman. Let's do battle. boy. So unlike other games, resource gathering is semi-automatic, if that makes sense to you. You've got to constantly re-click on stuff. Um, a lot of the animations are a lot better. They just work better. Um, this is something that's kind of derpy. Um, previously, the AIs would actually bother to cap their own torches, but it seems that the AI at medium doesn't really care. He's just all about coming in and touching my jibs. And I fight backwards. I am um, the backwards fighting Yukon bear. Studied in the Orient. Don't, don't judge me. Just, I just roll that way with my my hand knives and my butt shield. Because if there's one thing I've learned on YouTube, it's to always be wary of butt stabbers. So the one thing that you can see is that the enemy came in here and like jacked my gold and then immediately upgraded it. And he's only like unlocked one of his thingy jiggers. And so what we're doing right now is we're just going to build up our minions that are going to roll up the middle and go to his base. Right now he's getting beat up by two minions and he's upgrading his gold. And this is the his king, which is, appears to be a giant peeled bull and a 
Medusa Seder. So we'll upgrade this so we can unlock archers. I think I'll try to focus on that. Like, he's not really building anything. I'm going to end up having to just fight people if I want to actually showcase this better. So I think I'll end up doing that. And probably get the crap kicked out of me because I have not played this game in a significant amount of time. Um, for some reason it's not showing me the upgrade bar. Normally there's an animation that shows a little bar how long it takes. Apparently it doesn't want to do that. We'll just build a shaman to heal people and an archer. We don't need a super amount of them. And he's just gonna keep bum rushing me for whatever reason. Upgrade my gold. I'm gonna act like I'm really playing against something that requires a touch of effort. Just because playing with good strategy, if you wanna get a little bit more feisty and try hard later, is important. Periodically through the, the match, these buff potions will spawn. The white ones are speed, and the glowing yellow ones are um, designed to give you bonus damage and power. I'm going to charge into this boy. Hey, mind you, janky bastard. Let's do this thing. So at this point, like, he's already died to me several times, so I'm pretty leveled up. So the downside to upgrading your primary base to unlock additional upgrades to your secondary buildings is that you can no longer heal until this is done with its thing. So you are vulnerable to getting fondled. So if you notice your enemy's base is getting healed, you know, upgraded, and they might need to run away from you and heal, it would be a perfect opportunity to make them dead. If you really need to. Um, the nice thing about the bear is he's a fairly, like, balanced starting character. He's got a... I mean, from what I saw previously, he's got one of the strongest heals in the game. Um... And he's got, like, a stun charge where if people are trying to kite you, you can just kind of run up on them and touch them. Make them less fancy. Um, oh, I won. Okay. So let's just take a quick look around the field. So basically, our minions eventually ran into here and knocked out all of his points. And if you knock the points that are up at the top of the screen down to zero, they lose. And not having... Either of these towers meant that I had more victory torches than he did, which will automatically make him lose. He also only camped one of his gold and really didn't build anything. I'm going to check this out at some point, too, if there's something fancy inside this mine. Um, and then you level. I have now unlocked the um, sniper, so it'll be cool to take a look at that now. Um, i trying to think... I don't really need any items. You know, I'm going to wait till next time to play against people just so I can get some practice in against them. So I don't get completely pro-owned on... Um... I guess I'm stuck with the bear for a moment for whatever bug. I cannot apparently play as the bear. Or as anything but the bear. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Let's go play the Snowy Mountain Pass just because I know that the AI actually knows what the hell to do. And we'll see if I get the crap picked out of me by a robot, which is entirely possible. But as you can see, there's still quite a few bugs here and there. Um, not, not glaring ones that make the game completely unplayable, but they're, they're around, so... This map mode, you really have to get a hold of these towers. There are equal number of towers. However, you got to control like both of these in the middle to get anywhere, which I'm going to do right now. So that Jankopopolis doesn't run up me already. Let's do this thing, Snipey Dave. 
So this is the thing, like, you can get kited super easy, which is a distinctive issue, which is why I really should have unlocked a ranged character before getting my butt booty kicked in. Nope, you're gonna have to come deal with me. Get in here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Get him, Herman. Kick his butt. Okay, even though I'm like faster than him, he is winning it hard. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. As you see, I don't have an equal number of towers or a winning number of towers, so I'm losing victory points pretty quickly. Watch my back, Herman. He's coming for me. He wants to rustle my jibs. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we have even on the victory towers. I want my gold mine back, and I go get that one. You could have given me a Glock, Kenny boy. That's all I gotta say to you. This health potion. Cap this. And go get this. Um, I have quite a few points. I'm gonna build my barracks. I don't necessarily know if he's going to build a barracks. The AIs seem to have taken a step backwards, for the most part. Don't know if that means anything. It's whatever. I'm playing against the hard. Oh, here he's building a defensive tower, which might make my touching of this difficult. But I can level off these little minions, so that's decent. We're gonna go get your gold periodically. Look for buffs. Looks like I am going to need to build a defensive position here. Oh, he's here to touch my jibs. Come on. Come on, Herman. Battle time. Battle duck. I don't have enough mana to charge. I'm getting pruned. Come on. I'm gonna kite you over here. Let's do it. Come on, Janky. Get over here. You can get owned by the tower. This is actually a really kind of derpy mechanic in that the tower is going to be what kills him, but I'll take it. Um, that's why I really wanted, before I played against a ranged champion, or why I was going to, before I played against people, I wanted to unlock a tune that could do some kiting, because I have a feeling that that's the more overpowered mechanic right now, because they're, even with my bonus to speed boots, um, it seems like you can really kick the tar out of me. Nope. Come on, you bastards. Alright, we're gonna fight on my terms now. I can spawn my duck. I can't use my dilatar. Alright. This is one of those things where you just kinda have to be a poon, you know? Um. So, what do we got? We're gonna build a couple of these guys. And they have got their own wave starting. Perhaps that's a defensive unit. Actually, it looks like a defensive garrison unit. So I'm gonna go get my gold and upgrade this mine because I need to start getting an additional income to cover all of my saucy garrison troops. And you're being a butt, so I'm gonna come touch you. Come on, Janky. I don't really want to kite you into this turret, because it's kind of like the lamest method of killing somebody in the history of everness. But it's whatever. Alright. My... Oh, they... How did you... Oh, whatever. I'll get those back. He's losing at this point anyway. So one thing I can definitely say is it seems like melee is considerably underpowered, whereas before it was considerably overpowered. Which is unfortunate. But it's... whatever. I'm 
might have to build a defensive position here. Already tell. Come on, Harriman. You're such a Herman, I, I sent you to those classes so you could be a better battle duck. But all you're doing is getting pwned. And these guys should aggro onto me when I start touching them. That's kind of a janky mechanic. Get my this thingy jigger back. You know, what I think I'll do after this is I'll just get that pack to unlock the characters if I do more of this. And I'll slowly um, sort of showcase each of the champions, both playing against them and as them. Um, we will see where that ends up going. Okay, I got him. Leveled up a little bit more. I'll make my jump a little scarier. I really didn't need that tower up there, but that's okay. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get this next. Oh, well, I'm not gonna be able to cap that, so I'm gonna have to win via minions, which I am not getting through right now. Keep me healed, Shammy Long Me Ding Dong. We got, finally got a stun off on this little bastard. Oh, you can really go off like what I would perceive as the map really far. Oh, and I got his gold mine. Shwinky. I'm gonna destroy this. Because I can. I don't know what the respawn timer is on champions. I haven't died since I came back. Mostly because the AIs aren't particularly dangerous yet. I'm sure that will change relatively quickly. Um, I now have to be considerably more careful because I don't have a heal point anymore like I was talking about being a problem before. But I've got a healer and he don't so that's good. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is build some like flying bombardiers should be funny. Those were always hilarious in the early beta to kind of fart around with, even though they usually only kind of showed up when you didn't really need them anymore. I'm kind of getting the stuffed guitar kicked out of me. As you notice, walking over these cliffs, if you saw my other video, um, the pathing mechanics are substantially improved. And less janky. I'm just gonna keep healing myself. I can't do a. Okay, my castle's back. Sweet. I can kite him into the castle. If. Use your magic frog jizz and heal me. You're the worst king ever. Okay, that's not good. I'm going to need to get in here. I can't summon Herman, so that's not good. Probably gonna have to spend my mana healing myself. Ah, uh, don't kill me. No, 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 I need to heal this up again. The cost goes down for abilities when you heal, right when you um, level up as well. Okay, you. Do you heal on the wave? What's the plan? Oh, are you stealing my victory torch? You douche. What is my... Okay, it's not long. Okay, I got a mana potion. I want this back. Give me that back. There you go. I'm gonna torch this tower. So 
So we haven't really gotten any new tower. Oh wait, no, we have available watchtower. So this is like a yeah, okay, and then we have an artillery tower. So I don't remember if those were in the original beta, but they're here now, certainly. I'm gonna destroy this so he has to rebuild it before he can send more units after my jibs. Okay. He's only got to spawn one of these guys, that's good. Now he's got to deal with me. I better be careful. He's gonna be able to kite me into his base and make me quite dead. Hey, little janky bastard. I'm touch ya. I'm gonna touch ya real good. Run. Nope. I'm gonna get you if you're not careful. I'm gonna go heal. And then I'm gonna make you dead. And the king apparently does not up for healing me anymore. So apparently I'm gonna look for a different bear related job. Okay, oh finally, the magic green frog jizz that heals me comes back. Sweet. I want this back. That is mine. Why does that have that? Okay, so that's like the icon of a turret, I guess. Mm. Still getting used to some of these icons. But yeah, this will be an extended series. Since I showed you the more aggressive variety of AI that you'll kind of get your... You'll cut your teeth on when you first start playing. This game is free. Definitely pick it up on Steam Early Access or in the free-to-play category. It's very minimalist, real-time strategy, which I like. Because, I mean, I'm sure somebody really, really enjoys the ridiculous micromanagement in things like StarCraft has become, but I don't. I really don't. Not anymore. It's not my thing. Okay. I think we'll upgrade that again. We have a lot of money. How much is the throne upgrade? For, just 400 for level 3? Hmm. I would figure that would ramp up as you go along. I guess I'm gonna build them. This is taking forever. I'm gonna build another barracks. And this only takes 100 to upgrade. This only takes 100 to upgrade. I've got quite a bit of gold, so I'm not too worried. So this guy, um, that is the sapper, and he will busy himself making this building dead, which is handy. And they've only got 50 thingy jiggers left. I'm gonna help him torch this building, because I don't want it here. Actually, I'm gonna upgrade you as well. I've got some spare gold to spend. And. I'm not gonna build one of those. I'm gonna build some fancier units here. I wonder if I can get some armor to make beating up on ranged classes a little easier. I'm of the opinion that maybe you could, like, give ranged classes some sort of kiting ability or a mechanic that allows them to kite. Because right now they're just generally faster than melee units. Alright, so we'll take a quick look-see here. My splody guys were nailing this tower. This guy is doing whatever. Um, he had his mine, a defensive tower here, barracks here. I, he never took back this gold. Um, my recommendation for the developers, I don't know if they'll actually end up watching this or not, Maybe make the AI somewhat concerned with making sure his stuff remains capped. Right now they're definitely concerned with the uh, victory torches, which are important um, lo the location to have control of. And they're also concerned with touching you if you try to touch their border stuff. Stuff along the uh, control border here in the middle. Which I suppose is legitimate. But, um... 
It's still definitely in early access in beta, so this is all probably subject to change. And later I will test out those more advanced towers, I will unlock some more tunes for everyone to look at, and I will just generally showcase some more stuff, so stay tuned. This is going to be um, a much longer series because it will take me a while to unlock and figure everything out. So I have been Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo!